Good morning, Alani. It's about 6.30 a.m. I'm gonna go to breakfast right at seven o'clock. And then afterwards, we're gonna hope to get uh, some seats down by the pool. Yep. We're going to Makahiki for a character breakfast. And it looks like there's a bit of a line queued up here. But um, Makahiki is in this little building right here. Oh, and there it goes, Goofy! Looks like in addition to Makahiki, there is the Alelo room right here as well. I think that over there might be the outdoor seating for Makahiki, but before we do that, we're coming over here to meet Mickey! Benjamin! There you go. Benjamin! Look at me, Elfie. Look at me, you're too sweet. Look at me, you're too sweet. Look at me, bud. I see Max! Hello, Max! Oh, Goofy! Kids get to meet Goofy! Go meet Goofy! Hi, friends! How we doing? <laughs> After meeting Goofy, we're gonna get a table. We asked for a seat outside. They've got inside and outside, but, you know, this is Hawaii. I want to be outside. Hi, friends! Aloha, Papa! Hello! There's Pluto! I think Pluto's gonna come by. Oh, here he comes! Max is waiting to come say hi, too! Hi, Max! <laughs> hey, hi, Max! Hi, Max! So, Makahiki is a three-course meal, even for breakfast. They're gonna start us off with a, a little mini breakfast basket and some seasonal fruit. And then we choose one of these entrees to, to go along with our meal. And then, um, oh, maybe that's the three course. You get the breakfast basket, you get the seasonal fruit. Those are two courses. And then you get one entree, because I don't see a, a like a, a dessert type thing here. And they did say they were bringing both of those starters. So that's how it works at breakfast. Uh, I just gotta pick one of these for my meal. Just pick one of these or something. So here is a look at our fruit plate. Uh, <laughs> James's fruit's pretty much already gone. Uh, Benjamin is chowing down too. Um, but so they, they bring out the fruit plates, a little fruit plate for everybody. And I got pog juice. Surprise, surprise. If you've been following along with all of our Hawaii videos, you know that I love pog. So this is your alternative to slushies? <laughs> this is my alternative to slushies you can't get in this trip. Icy, so you're getting pog every time. I'm getting time. pog every time. <laughs> Uh, the, the kids have got uh, chocolate milk. They love chocolate milk. And here are the pastries. I'm so excited to dig into these. They have another basket for the kids. So we got lots of pastries to go around. Um, and basically, if you can tell, they are just kind of like little bite-sized things. But I assume the meal is going to be quite, quite good. And you're probably paying more for the character interactions. Yeah and the experience. I ordered the French toast and they gave me the option of a side of bacon ham or sausage. I went with ham and it looks like it comes with some berries on top here too. Uh, the the French toast comes with like a cream cheese or sweet cream uh, on top. And then Amy got the Kahlua pork omelet. And uh, she also asked for a side of fried rice. It's got a Portuguese sausage in it. And uh, it is, it is massive. It's, it's, it's huge. And here's a look at the kids' Mickey waffles. It came with three waffles. One of them is red, two of them not. And um, they got the choice of their own side of meats. James got ham, Benjamin got sausage. And it comes with a little fruit cup as well. So I thought that the French toast was really, really good. Uh, adding that like sweet cream cheese on top. Wow, I never would have thought to add that to French toast, but that added a amazing little flavor to it. Like, it's basically like putting icing on top of your French toast, like cinnamon roll type style icing on your French toast. Oh man, so good. So I had the Kahlua pork omelet. It was very good, but if you can look, it looks like I didn't even eat any of it. That's how big it was. This thing was massive. We are both just sitting here eating this fried rice. It's amazing, it's amazing fried rice. Like, Probably I'd have, I'd have ordered a whole rice. plate yeah. of just that fried rice. It's probably the best fried rice we've had, so very good. Uh, we brought everything back to the room. We had lots, lots of leftovers, of leftovers <laughs> which is good because we don't have anything for breakfast tomorrow. And breakfast, uh, there's no free breakfast at Alani. So now we have breakfast. Now we have breakfast. Um, 
It ended up being $195 with tap, or with uh, tip. So easily the most expensive meal that we've paid for this trip. And compared to all the food that we have eaten, I was, I mean, it was good food, don't get me wrong, it was very good and tasty food, but I wouldn't put it really in the caliber of the food that we've been eating, like at Haleba Joe's and Duke's and things like that, um, and much more affordable options. Obviously, it's Disney, so it's going to be expensive, meal. and it's a character breakfast. You're more or less paying for the experience. Otherwise, it, it's pretty pricey. There's a reason we don't do character breakfasts. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad that we have a free kind of microwave in our room, Absolutely. so that's something to consider when you book that if it's the same price, go book a studio room as opposed to a standing yes. room. Because we have a microwave in our room. I know that some of the other rooms don't, they at least have a fridge. There are microwaves down by Ulo Cafe that you can use, I saw that. But then you're waiting and sharing a microwave with everyone else. Now let's go to the pool. Yay! I got the GoPro out today. You might notice a little drop in audio quality as we get in the water and that sort of thing. But i um, going to be going on some slides and checking out all the water areas here at Aulani. The kids are coming over here to the Menahune Aquatic Play Area. It just says Menahune Bridge, but they've got a slide over here, it looks like, that spits out down there. There's Benjamin enjoying the slide. There's like a dump bucket right there. It's like a really tiny dump bucket. Keeps uh, splashing me here with the spray that's coming across. And oh, look at the fun bridge. That's pretty awesome. Of course, they've got some little water features, little waterfall area. Kids go under. <laughs> How's it going, James? <laughs> I got caught by the little dump bucket. Okay, so we're going on Tube Stone Curl, which is the tube slide. There's a little bit of a line for the tube slide. It looks like the body slide, which is on the left, has no line. The fun thing with the tube slide here is that it spills out right there straight into the lazy river so you can just continue on uh, on the lazy river after coming out of the tube slide now we're gonna go on the body slide here we go we're about to go on the volcanic vertical and that's this body slide right here benjamin's up next To Mama's snack shop for lunch, and I got the coconut breaded shrimp, the chicken fingers, and the mozzarella sticks. These two items are $18 a piece. This one was $12. So this is listed as a snack, and these are listed as entrees. They also had fish and chips, and they had a Ono sandwich, whatever that means. I don't know. Those are some big fries. I know, very big, and they're hot, so. Well, like, I literally walked up to the window, told them my order, they're like, okay, move to the pickup window, and like two seconds later, they slid all three of these things out. I was like, wow, that was really that fast. Was fast. <laughs> they had it all, like, you know, ready to go for people to order. But I'm glad it's hot, because sometimes yeah. when that's the case, it means it's been sitting under warmers and yeah. stuff, so it's nice and hot. Yeah, it is. You get some breaded shrimp here, coconut breaded shrimp. Mmm, mmm, wow. That's really good. This is better than our food from yesterday. The food here might be expensive, but wow is it tasty so you're paying for quality and you know you can't complain with quality the marinara is cold like cold cold and i don't know i would prefer the marinara to be warmed up a bit i think the, the mozzarella stick itself is really tasty though what do you think of that shrimp that's good isn't it 
And I don't even like coconut, but I do like toasted coconut, so. I figured you would be fine with this because it was cooked. Yeah. It's the like raw coconut, the you don't raw like the coconut. texture. I do not like raw coconut. So we did poolside yesterday, which was nice because we didn't have to like go anywhere to get anything, but it took a really long time. So it took us about like 20 minutes to even find someone to order from and then another probably 15 minutes to get our drinks and another like 20 to 30 minutes after that to get our food. If you don't mind going and standing in line, just go to Mama's Snack Shop and it's probably a little bit easier. It's a little cheaper and honestly the food is pretty good. Yeah, and then Ulu Cafe, the quick service place, is like really close too to the pool. Yeah. So you can easily just go over there. They're going to Auntie's Beach House in a bit. They got to dry off. We're going to leave them in their swim clothes. They just have to be completely dried off. Time to drop the kids off at Auntie's Beach House. They're getting ready at the drop-off line right here. It's 12 o'clock. It's an hour and a half long program. Hey James, did you have fun at Auntie's Beach House? What did you do? Play video games. You played video games? Star Wars Lego games. You played Star Wars Lego? Yeah. Was there anything else they did? Uh, chess. Chess? You played some chess? That is pretty fun. Anything else? No? Did you get to do just whatever you wanted? Yeah? We watched a movie! Oh, did you watch a movie? What yeah. movie was it? Counter. What? I don't know. <laughs> it was a Kanto! And Kanto? Oh, okay. We're gonna go on the lazy river now. I'm gonna make it have no air. See, you're floating. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. Everything about Aulani is gorgeous. Our seats are like right over that way. This Lazy River actually features multiple depths. Um, they have three feet and then they've also got three and a half feet. And then where the water slide spills out into the Lazy River, it's actually four feet deep. So they've got varying depths throughout the Lazy River here. Um, sometimes, you know, it's pretty shallow. Other times it's actually fairly deep. Love the little waterfall features. Oh. <laughs> and now we're gonna go down to the beach. This is a little pathway here where we can go. Here at uh, Makiki Joe's Beach Rentals, you can get snorkel sets, paddle boards, and you can pay for a sailing canoe adventure, but you can also get complimentary beach equipment. We just give them a room number. They give us uh, a little thing here for going down to the beach. So great, let's do it. Here's the little cove that we have. Here is a view of Alani from down here at the beach. And I'm in the water. And, um, I don't know. I'd rather just stay up at the pool, I think. I'm not really much of a beach person. Sand isn't my favorite. I got sand between my toes at the moment, which is fine in the water. It's, the problem is once I get out and then the sand doesn't leave my leg or doesn't leave my toes, that's when it's very problematic. <laughs> Down here at the beach, there's little opihis, and you can get Dole Whip, ice cream sandwiches, fruit on a stick, milk boba teas, and other beverages. No, I don't want to get more wet. I thought you just said, can you make sure we go in waterfalls? Oh, I said that we don't go in waterfalls. Oh, I didn't hear the word don't. I said don't. Are you sure you yes, said don't? I'm sure I said don't. It's getting cold now. It is. What's yes, with the wind? The Look, it's like suddenly windy. I know. And the sun went behind a cloud there. Yeah. So that doesn't help. All done with the pool now, and we are gonna go to Off the Hook for dinner. We were originally gonna go up to a place called The Beach House by 604. Probably, but no, we're, we're enjoying the resort too much. We're just gonna eat here. Off the Hook is located just to the left of the pool area here. It's over in this thatched roof building. There's a bar right there. 
and we just checked in like pretty much like right up there so they just walked us back here uh, the pool's just on the other side of this like bush here in fact uh, you can see the the volcano for the water slides right there here is their menu so they got a couple of different appetizers and salads here uh, they mostly serve sandwiches here that's like the primary thing that they have um, but additionally, they've got some flatbreads and a few really, really small selection of entrees there. I ordered the French dip sandwich, and I also got a side of pineapple along with that. And then Amy ordered the garlic shrimp flatbread, and uh, we're gonna split these two meals. And uh, this looks really, really good. The kids both got spaghetti and meatballs, and James got carrots and celery sticks, as well as apple slices. Benji just got a double helping of apple slices. Very carefully. It's tasty. It's just very messy. Um, shrimp is not easy to just take a bite of. I have no idea what's on this. I didn't really read carefully enough, but it's good. So the prime rib was actually very tender, very tasty. Uh, nice temperature, nice and warm. It's got a little bit of cheese on top here, so I like that. Uh, and the, the French onion dip, fantastic. A really great item um huh? no complaints it's, you know it's it's pretty standard french onion dip though maybe a little bit better quality than like you know your average whatever but um amy's trying the french dip now but she put uh horseradish sauce on it good but very messy any thoughts on it oh your average prime dip that's what i was saying it's still good i'm not sure what i think of the white sauce but um it's different i guess i'm not like wild about it the shrimp are good though yeah, the shrimp is very good um i think the the french dip is probably better but at least this is maybe more unique that's the way of putting it so eh, you know but they're still fantastic all the way around you can tell the quality is there now that dinner is done we're going to the Powhana room the community hall in order to do the menahune trail we got this little iPad, and we have Auntie here from Auntie's Beach House, and she is uh, telling us what we need to do. Okay, so I think that uh, we're right in front of this little body of water here, where it wants us. Okay, now hit the call Auntie button. Look, there's a Menehune. Little outline of one. But we just went from the little pool area to Auntie's beach house, and now we have to go back to the like Powhana room area. And they're sending us all over the place, but they haven't actually shown us any of the like little Menahune statues that are around. That's what I thought we were gonna be finding, the little Menahune statues. Instead, we're, I don't know really what we're doing just yet. Kind of figuring that out. Now it had us come to these drums, and we're gonna see what happens when we push the buttons on the device here. Of course, we aren't gonna show you absolutely everything in the Menahune Trail. It's gonna be a surprise if you come to Aulani and you can do it yourself, but they do have you going around to interactive sites like the one behind me. And then, you know, there are sounds and special effects. And it's kind of fun and interesting. Along with that, they're telling you a story on the iPad device and taking you around the property. So it's kind of a way to, to teach you about some Hawaiian culture, as well as give you a tour of the Aulani grounds. It really only took us like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. And I guess this trail used to be three hours long, but they've significantly shortened it. So I thought it would be a little bit more involved than it was, but um, it's still something worth doing if you've never done it before. For completing the Menehune Trail, we got a special little prize. Everybody got one. You see that they've got two nuts in here. And in order to get the third nut, uh, we have to complete a photo scavenger hunt. So they gave us this paper and we have to walk around and find the things in the clues and take photos of them and then bring them back. And they'll give us a third nut that will go on our little keychain here. We came down to the beach here uh, because it's almost sunset. We wanted to go see if we could see the sunset. We might have to go walking um, down that way to see the sunset, so let's go. Or instead, I think we're gonna go over there. There's like a little lookout point at the end of the cove. It's 
seven o'clock on the dot and uh, the sun is approaching the horizon. The kids seem quite content to just run around in the grass, although of course they slow down a bit. There he goes, Benjamin. Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> James loves the uh, top of the elevator here because they have the little arrows like Tower of Terror. <laughs> and with a, another nighttime view of Aulani, I'll go ahead and sign us out for the day. If you would like to see more Hawaii videos, hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to see the past videos, go ahead and click this playlist right over here and watch our previous Hawaii videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.